Melbourne has the call. Thank you. My question is to the Prime Minister. Doctors have said that returning baby Asher to detention would harm her. Your immigration minister has decided not to send her to Nauru for the time being, but said it will happen later. Yeah, yeah. Prime Minister, do you now agree with the doctors that detention harms children? Or are you just waiting until after the election to deport babies and children to Nauru? The member for Herbert, the member for Herbert is warned. The Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Mr Speaker, and I thank the member for his question. Um, last year, when uh, the shadow immigration minister addressed the Labor Party conference and he said that Labor regretted the decisions that they made, which resulted in children drowning at sea, I thought his words were profound and I thought they were genuine. I thought they were sincere. And it's why the Labor Party decided to move away from the policy, which had seen 50,000 people arrive on 800 boats. And at the same time, 1,200 people are drowned at sea. And yet, since Operation Sovereign Borders has been implemented by this government, Members on my left. we have been able to stare down the threat from people smugglers, Mr. Speaker. Not one death at sea has been reported uh, over that period. We McEwen. have the ability to turn back boats where it's safe to do so. And it is the policy of both government and opposition in this country to continue regional processing because we know that it works in stopping the boats. Now, we are working with uh, third countries to try and provide alternative arrangements, but we have been very clear, and I repeat this today because the people smugglers listen to every word spoken in this place, spoken by premiers and other leaders around the country. Let me be very clear to these people. We will not be held to ransom. We will not be blackmailed into changing this policy because this policy has resulted in lives being saved. And we are not going to retreat on what has been a very successful policy, Mr Speaker, because I am not going to preside over an arrangement which the Greens presided over when they were in coalition with the Rudd and Gillard governments, which saw children drown at sea. I am not going to allow that to return. Now, we have said that we will look at each case compassionately, we will look at each case on its merit, and we will decide in relation to those cases what is in the best interests of those children or of those families. I am not going to conduct a situation, not going to preside over a situation where we have people self-harming to come to hospitals in this country because they believe that is the route out into the Australian community for Australian citizenship. Now the we know, Morton. Mr Speaker, we know that we will provide the medical Morton. assistance, including to this baby and including to other people that we've brought to this country. And when the medical assistance has been provided, Mr Speaker, to the that family or to that individual, the policy of this government, the policy of the opposition, is that that person will return to Nauru. We will provide support and assistance to return people back to their country of origin if they have been found not to be owed protection. And that is the policy that we will continue because we are not going to allow the people smugglers to get back into business. Yeah.